Hello guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this presentation, we are going to see design of synchronous counter, particularly skipping state counter. We have already seen the design of synchronous counter, but which was the serial counter designing in synchronous manner. So for skipping state, what actually skipping states are? Let us consider an example in which state diagram is given in the question such that 0, 2, 4, 6, in which it is indicated that 0 position is going to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6 and 6 is going back to 0. So there are skipping states. So after 0, state number 1 is skipped, after 2, 3 is skipped, after 4, 5 is skipped, after 6, 7 is skipped and the counter is returned to 0. So there is a closed path. So what I can do here, I will set 0 as the reset state. So when I will power on the circuit, I will press a reset or I will send a clear pulse. The system or the counter will return to 0 and it will start counting state wise 0, 2, 4 and 6. And we all know that the formula we use is number of states that is n. It should be less than or equal to 2 raised to m where m is the number of flip flops. Here n is 6. What we have the maximum number of state provided is 6. So 6 states I want particularly. It should be less than or equal to 2 raised to m. So m is equal to 3 here. That means I am going to require 3 flip flops or the 3 inputs particularly. So therefore m is equal to 3 by the simple formula number of states should be less than or equal to 2 raised to number of flip flops input. So for that I prepared a table in which it is very easy to say that there are 3 states so I am considering 3 flip flops having outputs qc, qb, qa taken in reverse order. So what I have here is this is nothing but my present state of the counter which is also called as qn so i will write down a qn which is nothing but the previous state or the present state this one is the next state so for next state i will state this as q of n plus 1 that is the next state and what we have here is flip-flop inputs in that particularly i am going to use the jk flip-flop so that's why for the three flip-flops this is a c flip-flop so for C, JCKC is the input, for B flip-flop JBKB and for flip-flop A, the JAKA are the inputs. And these inputs we are going to form with the help of excitation table. So before going to excitation table, we need to fill out the present state and next state column. So we have that three flip-flops are there, so three bits will be there. For three bits, there will be seven combinations as we all know. And the seven combinations will be 0, 0, 0 all the way to... 1 1 1 so I'll write down and the respective decimal equivalents for this are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now we know that from the state diagram suppose present state the circuit is reset present state is 0 and the next state for 0 will be 2 so what I'm going to do here I'm going to place here in front of 0 I'll place down 2 so what is the code for 2 is 0 and 0 I'll put here 0 1 0 because 0 is going to 2 I don't know about 1 so what I will do I'll put a don't care there so it's a don't care case in the case of 2 state number 2 is going to state number 4 so I'll write down a code of 4 1 0 0 3 is again don't care 5 is don't care and 7 is don't care so I'll fill out all the don't care cases and now state number 2 goes to 4 and 4 goes to 6 so what I will do here 4 goes to 6 so I'll write down a code of 6 here that is 110 and 6 goes to 0 so it will be 000 so this is your next state stable